Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another tutorial on Croco block. Last time we have made a support and ticketing system using Jet Engine, and there were two parts. In first part, we built the whole system. In part two, we discuss assigning tickets, form hooks, and edit CCT from front end. Today, we will extend the functionality of the ticketing system by adding agents from front end. We will also display the number of agents we have and also we will display how many tickets are assigned to those agents we will be starting from creating a user query go to jet engine query builder and create a query for agents agents query we will choose user it will show us all users we have 46 user now here we need to filter it by role so the role should be assigned team so we have five agents who are working on resolving the tickets that's it add query let's go to listings add new listing user listing and here we will single agent create item I will take a section full width and let's have an icon box push it to the left side and let's make it user you can replace it by user uh, avatar also but right now I will use a static icon here we should have user field display name and we will remove it okay let's update it go back to dashboard now we need to create a new template for agents just like here we have various template pages we will create a new one add new page agents create template Now we already have templates so I will import one of the template from dashboard for example apply I will remove these unnecessary elements because we don't need instead of dashboard here we will mention agents and I will remove these listings let's have a listing grid and it should be agents single agent and I will make it one column and 100 for example Now it is showing us all user because the custom query is not yet applied go to custom query and enable agent query now we have only five agents i will pause the video and just give a little bit styling to these listings all right so i designed the single agent uh, this is dynamic field this is also dynamic field which show the registration this is display name display name of the user and this is the registration date now I have uh, used filter field output and convert the date to human readable so it shows six months and then customize field output and edit just ago so it shows that this user joined six months ago now we have an interesting uh, query I want to show how many ticket has been assigned to this user okay so I will go to query builder to create a new query If we go to tickets we have a meta field here called assign ticket assign 
assigned user okay and this assigned user has the user id of the person which is assigned okay so what we will do we will create a new query add new and here uh, assigned tickets let's just display the result it's post query and we need to count tickets it will show us total tickets which are 42 and then we need to filter it with meta query let's add a class what is key and name of the field it's assigned user equal to for example i will mention 24 okay this is a static so a static id of a user so it shows that this user 24 has three tickets okay now we need to make it dynamic so click on dynamic uh, icon and here we need current id current id will fetch this id okay and let's add query now let's refresh this listing because the new query will be added to the system just fetch a heading in dynamic takes go to query result count and select query assign tickets it is showing four let's update and let's refresh this page so it is showing us three ticket is assigned to this user four ticket assigned to this one this one has zero and so on let's give a style assign ticket let's make it center and h5 for div change color to primary color update and let's update it it's already updated now we already created this template we need to add it in profile builder so let's go to profile builder account pages and let's and let's duplicate yes let's duplicate this one assign ticket and it will be agents and for the icon let's have it users let's remove the slug assign ticket should be agents okay let's have it agent slug also and i will push it to top save let's refresh our dashboard we got agents click on that and we have our agents all of them are added here along with assign ticket let's have some spacing here all right now step one is done the step two is to create agents from front end in other word adding user inject engine from front end so step one is we need to create a form using jet form builder add new add agent let's remove the fields here i will remove it also and uh, let's insert a column two columns the first one will have text text field and it is username another one text field and it's email and here in field type it should be email now let's insert another one here insert after text and it should be first name uh, 
after and it should be last name okay now on the left side we need insert after and it should be password it's a text field password and here a type should be password and let's have another one for repeated password insert after text and repeat password and it should be password as well okay so this is the basic form and at the end we need submit button so action button submit which should submit the form and let's have it add agent okay let's go to jet form and instead of send email we need to have it register a user let's map the field allow creating new user by existing user and it should only be for administrator or the one who is handling your ticketing system user login is username email is email password is password confirm password is repeat password and first name is first name last name last name okay now here it is asking for user role once you want to register the user from front end what should be the user role so in our case it's assign team all done click on update and we need to redirect the user to the same page so let's have another action redirect to page and it should be current page update okay and let's publish publish let's go back to our page and here we need another title add agent let's have a jet form and we don't have the new form here so let's refresh the page click here add agent our form is here now the reason why I use two column is to uh, match the width of the page let's make it Ajax and everything seems fine click on update and let's refresh this page agent all right so username is appear for example first name appear email appear at yahoo.com and last name is muxit let's have password one two three one two three and add agent agent added successfully and the page is also refreshed and we have appear here which has zero tickets and edit two seconds ago let's go back to our website and see whether we have it in the back end users and we have here i want to assign a ticket to her so i will go to open tickets right now it's zero uh, open a testing and here we can see up here now it's dynamic it's pulling automatically the user with agent role let's assign a ticket ticket is assigned let's go to agents and see whether our new user can have it okay so 40 second 46 seconds ago and they have one ticket okay so this was a short tutorial of how you can show your agents and how you can edit from front end please subscribe the channel if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much